Do you long for inner peace? What about world peace? World peace is a lot of people with inner peace. More and more people are waking up to the urgency with which we need safe, healthy places for people, animals, and our land to heal and grow together. We can bring the change we want to see. If we want more peace, more caring, and more sanctuary in the world, let's start by cultivating it in our own community. I live in the beautiful foothills of Northern California, in Nevada County, USA. I'm looking to establish a special sort of sanctuary where people can come to spend time in harmony with wild land and free horses. I'm Stormy May. I've spent my lifetime working with horses in many different capacities. I used to train and show them, as well as enjoying trail riding and camping with horses. Fourteen years ago, in order to understand horses better, I began dismantling my own social conditioning around them. I questioned riding and training. If we had to control horses with ropes, is it ever really a willing partnership? I let go of the ropes and I tried clicker training, positive reinforcement. But it was still manipulation, still training based on thinking I knew what's best for the horse. This questioning led to the end of my career as a horse trainer and an evolution into my current work as an international teacher and consultant for people who are interested in transformational journeys with horses. At the core, I realized horses have their own wisdom that we shut down when we believe they need to serve us. They've roamed the earth longer than humans. They thrive in many different environments. They have their own ways of resolving conflict and nurturing their loved ones. When we humble ourselves enough to listen and learn from them, we open ourselves to a more full awareness and experience of our own true humanity. Spending time in the presence of empowered horses can bring us safely into heightened states of awareness. It can show us the value of nonverbal communication and how to tune into the wisdom of our bodies. It can help us overcome anxieties and fears. It offers a non-judgmental space that can facilitate learning and growth for people of all ages. The problem is accessibility. This sort of space has traditionally only been available to horse owners. Horses require a lot of land and specialized knowledge to thrive. Few people have the resources to provide these. I want to create a space beyond oppression, where horses are teachers, with places for people to walk, to talk, to sit, to read, to draw, play music, learn, meditate, rest, and recharge among the beautiful backdrop of nature in the presence of the gentle strength and intelligence of free horses. Depending on the situation, this could also be a holistic retreat facility that could be utilized by teachers and therapists who want to work alongside horses in a new paradigm. It could become a campus for peace literacy. It could also provide space for permaculture, enriching the land and sustaining the inhabitants. I'm not doing this alone. For the past six months, I've been brainstorming with a local and worldwide team of over 300 horse advocates who are interested in creating and supporting sanctuary spaces where freedom and respect are more than just words. Are you curious about what it's like to be face-to-face -face with a free horse? Are you open to where horses can lead us? Are you looking for opportunities to make a positive impact for yourself, your family, and your community? Here are three action steps you can take right now. First, do you have or know of an existing place in Nevada County, California, that could benefit from a horse sanctuary stewarding the land and offering these sorts of opportunities to the community? If so, let me know about it. Send an email to stormy at stormymay.com. Second, sign up for our newsletter. We'll send the latest news about how this is developing and how you can contribute to the change. Third, share this message with everybody you think would be excited about getting involved. Let's create the space together. 
This is the environment that will lend us the wisdom to create more just and more sustainable sanctuaries to grow a just and sustainable world. The peace we cultivate has the power to spread like a ripple. As each person finds inner peace, peace spreads on earth. <laughs>